Creeped up. <laughs> and now it's time for bedtime stories with. <sighs> Ron Burlington. Burlington. Ah. <laughs> Hi, y'all. Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Ronnie. How are you guys doing? It hurts. Y'all fucking awesome. Now, boys and girls, I got a special story for you today, tonight. You see, we're going to read a little bit of history. Yeah, this, this story actually happened. So, it begins with this. You see, it's called Slurp Ligula, Caligula's lesser known nephew. In ye old days of 38 AD, in the Mediterranean, there lived an inbred nephew of the Roman Emperor Caligula, and his name was Lucas Augustus. But he was commonly referred to as Slurp Ligula, because of the years of inbleeding, left his, left his with a really fucked up, flappy upper lip. And a horrific speech impediment. He was Caligula's favorite, because that flat, it don't fit perfectly over his holy Roman cock. And he would use that to clean fecal matter that collected on it during all his sodomy sessions. Sometimes, he would just fuck it. Now he paraded Slurp Ligula round on a leash. And he would use him to block stones that the Roman citizens would hurl at him. Because he was a creepy old pedophile. See, a lot of Roman emperors were like that back in those days. But anyways, Slurp Ligula, he was fashioned with the worst armor, but it served the purpose because the helmet was on the upper portion of a skull. And the body was completely naked, but smothered in fig paste and a, some crocodile shit so that the stones, they just don't slit off him. And thankfully for Slip Ligula's deformities, it also left him unable to smell how putrid he stank. And let me tell you, back then, he got pretty damn putrid. Now, Slurp Ligula's mom, Methodicus Maximus, she was a little saddened by the treatment of the son she bore by Caligula. She's so sad, in fact, that she snuck into Caligula's room one night, unlocked his cage, and told him to escape while she was fucking her brother. <laughs> now, she also told him that a disguise was in the back alley and a satchel made of elephant intestines. Yeah, elephant's asshole for the layman in the audience. Now, he said, okay, mommy, and gave her that disguise gust and slobbery kiss which he smeared all of that nasty shit that collected on his flappy folds for a lifetime of atrocious acts and believe me they were pretty fucking atrocious now he snuck into the back alley and he found that satchel put on his disguise which was really just the elephant's lower intestine and whatever was inside it when it died and he boarded that ship and he headed to Macedonia now, during the voyage, however, he died from a horrible infection and fever he got while wearing that elephant intestine. Probably all that festering shit inside, I would think. Also, that ship crashed into a, probably some rocks and everyone died. That's the end of that story. It really happened. It's true. <laughs> 